In this video, we will be studying about the pollination. Now, see your anther has these small, small, uh, very dusty kind of particles known as pollen grains. Now, the pollen grains are transferred from the anther. to the stigma of either the same flower or of another flower of the same kind of wind. same kind by wind, water or insects, let's say butterflies or flies. Now this process is known as pollination. Now we have in the previous video we have started about the structure of the flower, there is an anther which contains pollen grains and on the top of that it has a stigma. Now when pollen grains are you know taken and they get stick to the stigma of the other flower of the same flower either by the wind, water or insects then this process is known as pollination. Now after pollination what happens the ovary expands or sw uh, swells up and change into the fruit and the ovules change into the seeds. Now if you see an apple from inside, this is how the apple is and there are some seeds inside the apple, right. Now these seeds were the ovules before it was, when it was a flower. Now, see, whenever you get a fruit, first you get a flower out of it and then it is turned into the fruit. Similarly, there are many seeds you can see in the mango, uh, lemon, apple. So, there are many seeds. So, uh, the flower is turned up into the fruit. This process is known as your pollination. Do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.